So you get yourself a 4K display and you jump into Unreal Engine. Huh. What's with the viewport? Why is everything at half resolution? I, I've been asking myself this since 2015 when Unreal Engine became free. Ugh. It's annoying. It's very annoying. And I, I couldn't find anything on the internet on how to fix this. I've been searching ever since I got Unreal Engine back in 2015. And there is nothing. All I've ever seen on the internet is they're like, oh, hey, uh, my uh, display stuff over here, the user interface is all tiny or too big or something. I've never had a problem with that. You can change the thumbnail size right here. It doesn't, it, I mean, you can go to your, your desktop and right click, go to display settings and change the scale there and it'll change the scale for Unreal Engine. It's easy. But what never changes is the viewport resolution. Now you'd think, okay, this is this is a simple fix. Let's just tick this down arrow right here and change this to 200%. Uh, no, that doesn't fix it. It never has. I'm gonna set that back to 100 because that's ridiculous. So I've been all over the internet, like I said, and I've been looking and looking and looking and I never find, never found the answer. Never. It has been, it's been my biggest problem with Unreal Engine ever since I got it. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go through all the settings and that's that. So I started with, I don't know, whatever I could find and I just went through everything. Everything. And I, I screwed up my editor and actually had to reinstall it twice because of that. But after a ton of searching, I finally found the setting that changes this. You go you go to your uh, editor preference, right here, probably should have said it before I clicked it. You go to editor preference, you go to performance, and then you hit right here, disable DPI based editor viewport scaling, tick that. And now everything is actually running in 4K. It's, it, that is much better, much, much better. I've been working in Unreal Engine ever since 2015 and I've been working in Blender ever since 2012. They need to make more documentation for stuff like little problems like this, little problems that are actually big problems, and they need to fix a lot of bugs, but they won't, of course. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing or just liking, I don't know, it doesn't really matter to me. Do whatever you want and I will catch you in another video if you do subscribe or if you just happen to run into my channel again.